Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Hager 1257 single acting reverse spring hinge. This is the 4x4 size, and it's shown in the uh, USP or 600 prime coat finish. So the 1257 is representative of the fact that it's a reverse spring hinge. So rather than a standard hinge, operating to uh, uh, close the door, this hinge is the opposite. It's intended to open the door. Generally when I've sold these it's not so much to open the door as much as it is to um, intended to help keep a door from automatically or unintentionally creeping closed like a door that's not hung plumb or a frame that's out of plumb is a lot of the time that I sell these as well. However, it can be used for, you know, the application of automatically opening a door. And that's, you know, the manufacturer's description of it as well. It is a 4x4 four four hinge. It's available in a 4.5 four. four. It's available in other sizes should you need them and other finishes. There's a drop-down menu on the right side of this video to select the hinge. Pardon me, the finish. Um, it's available with radius corners. The 1258 would be the quarter inch radius and the 1259 would be the 5 8 radius. Okay. Um, there is a guide below this video in terms of uh, the weight capacity of the door. If you're dealing with a 60 pound door, uh, one spring hinge and two ball bearing hinges and the axis of pivoting of the hinge, the line, the vertical line, the imaginary line is also compatible with uh, commercial grade hinges as well from Hager so you can mix and match. 85 pounds they're thinking two hinges and up to 110 pounds would be three hinges. I'm a fan of all spring hinges only from the perspective that um, if you over crank or over set the torsion on the spring and it snaps the, the hinge is not serviceable it has to be replaced so maybe opt towards a little more conservative number of hinges based on the door weight this is a template pattern these are uh, the holes for the screws are in the standard location screws with a prime coat head are uh, included obviously prime coat is uh, a finish intended to be painted and again like I said there's other uh, finishes available there is a link below this video to the installation instructions and that is um, very important to follow uh, those installation instructions. Basically you rotate the hinge. This hinge, obviously this is the end where you install the Allen wrench. It's dependent on the hand of the door. So using the example where this is up, if you were going to have, you know, whichever hand you're dealing with and, and you know and you can you, you can of course turn it over but you have to follow the instructions in terms of you know you're always going to crank this clockwise per the instructions in order to get the spring to operate the correct way uh, if you were to turn it over for whatever reason you'd have to do that in reverse mm -hmm. this hinge can go on either side of the door um, and is uh, relatively uh, it's not uncommon to sell these uh, you know, you don't sell them often, but people do. Uh, this hinge serves a purpose that solves problems for folks. So, uh, nonetheless, uh, if you have any questions on the Hager 1257 4x4 four four single acting reverse spring hinge or any other Hager product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.